Well, and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Jacqueline Matter. Thanks for joining us. Well, it's going to be a first alert weather weekend, so don't plan any Mother's Day events outside, at least part of that day. Certainly don't want to. Let's head over to Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan, who joins us now with our first alert forecast and more on when we can expect that. Here night. it comes. You can see all the moisture right here gathering to the south and west of us associated with the upper level low. This high pressure, which has been around, has now moved all the way across and is over north Florida. It's still going to stick around on Saturday, but then by Sunday, Day, it really shifts off to the east and that will allow us to see more of a southeasterly wind component which will bring a lot of this moisture our way. This low pressure area, by the way, will again park itself pretty much right over the eastern Gulf of Mexico and sit around here uh, for not one, two, three days all the way through Tuesday. Uh, so a good chance for showers and some thunderstorms in the mix. We're not anticipating anything too severe right now, but uh, we will see also on top of that an inverted trough down to our south and uh, moisture will move in Sunday and stay with us, as I said, right through Tuesday. As far as the uh, forecast goes tomorrow, look for clouds around. Now there's a chance we could see one or two showers pop in, so we'll keep a 20% chance for a few showers in the day on Saturday, but not as much as we are going to see Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Bob. We will talk to you soon. People are on edge tonight following two shootings in Newtown that happened earlier today. The suspects in both of those shootings remain on the loose tonight. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us from the site of one of those shootings. Rick? Yeah, guys, good evening. The shooting back there happened around 8 o'clock this morning, while the other shooting happened around 1.30 this morning. Very busy Friday for Sarasota police. They are trying to hunt down the two suspects responsible for shooting a man in the leg twice near a home on 20th Street in Sarasota. The man is expected to be okay. As far as the relationship between the two victim or the two suspects rather and the victim, that's unknown at this time. Um, however, we don't believe this to be a random incident. We don't believe there to be a threat in the area. Just hours earlier, also in the Newtown section of Sarasota, a man was shot while standing in the area of Dr. Martin Luther Kingway and Pershing Avenue. That shooting happened in the early morning hours, sending the man to the hospital where he's recovering from non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect still remains at large. It's not known if both shootings are connected. If they patrol the community like they should, this stuff wouldn't happen. It's happening because the police ain't here to protect and serve. Sarasota police say they do patrol that area around the clock. This is the third shooting in the Newtown area this week. On Tuesday, police say someone was shot while sitting in their car near 23rd Street and Osprey Avenue. The victim is recovering from those injuries, and police are still searching for that shooter. Overall, this is the 16th shooting in Newtown this year. And if you do have any information regarding these shootings, you're being asked to contact police immediately. Reporting live from Sarasota, I'm Rick Adams. Back to you. All right, Rick, thank you. And we have new video related to the shooting investigation. Sarasota police detectives looking to identify the owners of the two vehicles that may be connected to this morning's shooting on 20th Street. One car may belong to the suspect and another to a witness. If you have any information and recognize those vehicles, call Sarasota Police. A chaotic scene in Venice last night after two of the three bridges onto the island were temporarily closed. A hy hydraulic seal broke on the north bridge, causing it to stay up. And then on the Venice Avenue bridge, a car accident led to a vehicle fire. All of that happening at the same time, leaving first responders to decide which issue to handle first. It was just one of those days where stars aligned up and, and uh, it just kind of broke loose for a little bit. The bridges were back up and running by this morning. First responders say they do have contingency plans if the bridges break in the future. The Minnesota Bridge in Manatee County is now clear after it was shut down because of a suspicious package. Earlier this afternoon, Bradenton police closed both the north and southbound lanes of the bridge that spans the Manatee River while they investigated that package. The bridge wasn't closed for long. It took police canine Maverick about 15 minutes to give the all clear on that package, which ended up being an artificial Christmas tree. Drivers, be prepared to spend maybe a little extra time uh, this weekend on US 41 because if construction begins Saturday on two new roundabouts, crews will be working on those roundabouts on US 41 at both 10th Street and 14th Street. Nighttime work will begin May 13th through the 17th and 10th Street area. There may also be single lane closures between 9th Street and 15th Street. 
And of course, the streets are getting busier every minute. You can check up to the minute traffic updates right on your, your phone. Just download our ABC7 app by searching WWSB or My Suncoast in the App Store. Well, there were more than 9,500 motorcycle accidents on Florida roads last year, along with over 6,000 bicycle crashes. Of those, 611 resulted in fatalities. Florida's warmer weather means there are a lot of bikes on the road and the numbers continue to go up as summer approaches. The state consistently has among the highest number of bike accidents in the country. We want to ensure that our motor vehicles are giving bicycles and motorcycles the amount of space they need. Remember, motorcycles and bicycles have the same rights as motor vehicles on the road. So a motorcycle gets an entire lane. If possible, we want to give that bicycle three feet of room. Heichel says bikers and cyclists need to do their part as well by following laws that do not allow lane sharing or weaving in and out of traffic. City of Sarasota has a new mayor. During a State of the City meeting today, Liz Alpert was named the new mayor, with Vice Mayor going to Jen Ahern Koch. The position is ceremonial and changes each year. Outgoing Mayor Shelley Freeland Eddy thanked the city for allowing her to serve in that role. She talked about the direction the city is going in and praised the various government offices for their work over the last year. The new mayor says she wants to keep the city on track and continue to work at making Sarasota better getting the Bay Project going, getting some new transportation planning. I'm very excited about making that happen in the city and just overall looking to make it an even better place than it is. The mayor in Sarasota serves for one year and is voted on by commissioners. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, a Florida man behind a massive robocall operation is behind bars tonight. How you can stop the annoying calls. Plus, the biggest fundraiser of the year on the Sun Coast tonight. We'll show you a live look inside. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. You are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. Get to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota for big savings during the Chrysler Pacifica Incredible Sales Event. Get KBB's 2017 Best Buy Award overall winner, the Chrysler Pacifica, for just $23,999. Or save big and get the new Chrysler 300 Touring with an MSRP over $30,000 for just $21,999. That's a savings of over $8,000. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota today. My California classes experience has been wonderful. My mother's a huge inspiration. Before she passed away, she would say, you should do something special for yourself. First time I saw my closet, I immediately thought, this is the best thing I've ever done for myself. I call it my Tiffany style closet. I mean, I can shop in my own closet every day. I love that. My name is Cynthia, and this is my California closet story. Experience the classical music celebration May 11th and 12th at the historic Sarasota Opera House. World-class musicians include guitar duo Charisma, currently touring with Andrea Bocelli. Tickets available online or by phone. My credit score was not that great. I didn't understand what went into my credit score. It was overwhelming. Do you want to attain better credit health but don't know where to start? Credit Sesame can help by providing you a free credit score. I love the app. It's so easy to use. It's like having a, your own financial coach. Credit Sesame broke my credit score down into things that I understood and it made me think, I can do this. And the awesome thing about Credit Sesame, it's free. It's 100% free. You don't need to go it alone. Get started today at CreditSesame.com. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. 
Get all the local information you need before you leave home in the morning. Watch Good Morning Sun Coast weekdays on ABC7 to get breaking news, plus first alert weather and traffic focused on where you live. ABC7, we're here for you. A Florida man has been fined $120 million for a massive robocall operation. The FTC calling this one of the biggest and most dangerous illegal robocalling campaigns it's ever seen. That is just one of the many companies out there scamming callers. The commission has no idea how often these scam calls are happening, but they say they alone receive at least 400,000 complaints every month, and those numbers are on the rise. If people would stop picking up the phone every time they saw a number that they did not recognize, that would be the death knell to the whole robocall in industry. The Federal Trade Commission says there are four steps that you should take. Register, hang up, report, and block. First, register for the Do Not Call list at donotcall.gov. Second, hang up if you answer the call at all. Third, report the case. And fourth, block the spam calls through a cell phone app. There are several out there that the FTC does not recommend one specifically, but there are multiple available. An update now on an annual volunteer project that has become a staple in Sarasota Bay. Organizers calling this year's Seagrass Survey a big success. Volunteers sweep Sarasota Bay with snorkeling equipment and they use kayaks to collect data. That data then helps scientists protect the bay seagrass, which is of course an important habitat for fish. Since the 1980s, the survey shows seagrass meadows have increased by 54 percent. Information from the survey has also led to better water quality practice practices as well. We would not see those big snook that Bob showed us mm -hmm. if we didn't have a good seagrass in our bay. Very true. Yep. All right, well stay with us. Bob will be right back after this with a look at the forecast for the week. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to Mesobook.com. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, canoeing, camping, and more. Or challenge yourself on Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy a deep south dining experience. Book your adventure in one of our members' lodges or stay at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Since 2004, Embracing Our Differences has used the power of art and education to promote diversity. One way it accomplishes this is through its annual outdoor exhibition of 45 billboard-sized works of art, each accompanied by an inspirational quote. Join us in creating a community that is inclusive for all, where differences are embraced and individuality is celebrated. We invite you to celebrate the voices and visions of diversity and inclusion at this year's exhibit at Sarasota's Island Park. My goal every day when I come into work at ABC7 is to tell your stories, give you that major local news and those details that you really care about. I'm Jacqueline Matter and I'm here for you. 
any Mother's Day brunches that maybe people mm -hmm. had, maybe at Selby Gardens or anywhere else. Probably. Maybe do it on Saturday. Well, yeah, you that's know, a good idea. You know, the thing is with with Monday brunch though, that's at around 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10, 11, 12 o'clock. You may get that in. I'm not saying definitely okay. then. Uh, but the afternoon and evening is when we're really going to see the heavier rainfall moving in, at least at what it looks like right now. So uh, it's, it's iffy, though, so you might want to have alternative <laughs> plans. Cover myself here. Uh, Casey <laughs> Key webcam showing pretty nice some morning. We had some sunshine out there. Then the clouds came in, and they were rather thick at times. No rainfall around. The atmosphere is just still too dry, but it is transitioning to a moist atmosphere. It won't take... Uh, long. In fact, uh, by the end of Saturday, it will be moistened up just in time for the arrival of a low pressure system that will be moving in uh, from the Gulf of Mexico. It's actually moving in from Mexico, and this upper level low uh, is going to be actually traversing right in to our coast. Now, it'll stay there, too. It's going to get hung up. It's not associated with the main flow, so uh, the main flow typically moves things west to east, but this is just going to sit there and spin, and when it does that, it brings moisture in. On top of that, it creates enough instability in the atmosphere that we will see a pretty good chance of getting some much-needed rainfall. Unfortunately, I know it's on the weekend again. Uh, there's also a line of low pressure located down to our south, and this line of low pressure is also going to drift up in our direction. That, too, will add to the instability of the atmosphere, so we can expect a good chance for rain, and some of that could be heavy at times. But right now, high pressure is still in control. The atmosphere is still, still rather dry, and what that means is we won't get as much rain on Saturday. Saturday looks to be the best of the, the uh, two days, although Sunday morning shouldn't be too bad right now. We will see the rain moving in, though, later in the day. A good chance for showers and even a few thunderstorms. Right now, it does not appear that we're going to see anything too rough as far as severe weather goes. And then it lingers right through Tuesday. I mentioned that low pressure system not moving much. It's going to drift to the north on Monday and on Tuesday. So it's just what the doctor ordered for our love bugs, for one, and two, uh, for our high fire danger. Uh, we're not getting into our rainy period. These are little disturbances that come in once in a while uh, prior to the start of those afternoon and evening storms, which really don't begin until uh, midweek or two weeks into uh, uh, June, as I've been telling you for years and years and years. You see that rain down to our south. This is 1 a.m. Saturday, lots of clouds around uh, moving in as we go through time. This, this sort of gathers as far as bigger storms go uh, down south of the Keys. And notice the direction it's moving off toward the northwest. And then here comes this patch of showers too and they all kind of converge right here along the west coast of Florida. But as I alluded to, it looks like Sunday being the better days. It's been dry because all this dry air around that's shifting to the east as that high pressure ridge gets out of here and you're starting to see some of these blues on the moist scale uh, moving on in across west central Florida. Winds are out of the northeast, not as brisk today, but uh, we have a little west coast breeze trying to develop right near the coast but not having much success. It is right now at seven in Venice, six out of the southwest of Minnesota, but east, northeast and uh, Northport. Current conditions, uh, we have some clouds, uh, some clouds, some sun, 84 degrees. Relative humidity is still pretty dry, 53%. And our high today was a record. We tied a record high today at 92 degrees. Set back in 2012 was when the old mark is. Now we tied that, so 85 is our normal high. We'll be closer to 85 tomorrow as a result of the clouds that will be around throughout the day. Uh, temperatures will warm up until around 86 degrees. Now the GFS forecast, this is Sunday, taking you through time. You'll notice Sunday, midday, still the heaviest rain to our south, although I would not be surprised to see a few showers on Sunday morning. They'll be hit or miss, but then the heavier rainfall begins to move in Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, and the low pressure kind of hanging there with more moisture in place, even some showers. There's the spin as it heads off to the northwest. We're still in that trail right through Tuesday, and then it will leave behind plenty of tropical moisture, so we'll get showers and storms scattered about on and through Looks like uh, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. For boaters tomorrow, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas will be 1 to 2 feet with a light chop out there. And the water temperature is still uh, 78 degrees. Here's the forecast. 20% chance on Saturday, 40% chance Sunday morning. Then it jumps up to 70 after we get through midday. Stays that way through Monday. A little less action on Tuesday. Temperatures, you'll notice, a little bit cooler each uh, of the days that we get the heavier rainfall. And then we start to warm up into the mid 80s to upper 80s on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And notice I'm keeping a chance for scattered storms in the mix. That's not our summer pattern. It's just the fact that this uh, system is going to leave behind a little trough as well as a lot of uh, tropical moisture, just enough to give us a chance for a few scattered storms. So good news is that the love bugs uh, may be coming down a little bit beginning on Sunday. Back to you. We'll take it. Thank you, Bob. Take a look at this. One of Disney's floats on fire during the parade earlier today. The Maleficent float breathes fire, and it looks like there was a major malfunction. According to Disney World, no one was hurt, and the fire was quickly put out.
Well, it's not your imagination. Sarasota County Mosquito Ma Management says there is a larger population of love bugs flying around this season compared to the last couple of years. According to Mosquito Management, the bugs are harmless and help the ecosystem by eating decaying plant matter. The bugs only live about a week, but they certainly don't have a problem making their presence known. And it's a part of living in Florida now, just like we have to deal with hurricanes and heat and alligators. Add love bugs to the list. Mosquito management recommends spraying a solution made of one part dish soap and 10 parts water to get rid of love bugs. Pesticides are not necessary since the bugs are not hurting the environment. A local Walmart is partnering with several charities to help feed the hungry. Today, the Walmart on State Road 64 in Bradenton raising funds for four local charities. Walmart granting those charities more than $50,000 in grants. Those charities are Aqua Venture, Meals on Wheels, the Veterans Outpost, and Rowlett Academy's Summer Hunger Program. The online grocery uh, was all about food and, and feeding families, and so we decided the best partnership within the community was to help provide uh, those in need. And so we really uh, attempted to go after all of the local nonprofits that aimed at helping families during the summer. Local charities can apply for grants from Walmart by visiting walmartfoundation.com. Well, this weekend is an easy opportunity to help your neighbors in need. The 26th annual Stamp Out Hunger National Food Drive is happening tomorrow. You can leave bags of non-perishable food next to your mailbox, and then tomorrow, letter carriers will collect the donations. All day, volunteers with All Faiths Food Bank will be at drop-off locations across the Sun Coast, loading trucks that will take the donations back to the food bank, which will then be sorted and distributed. Tonight, after that joyous homecoming, the stage is now set. Can the president stop North Korea's nuclear program? I think this will be a very big success. With stakes this high, World News Tonight with David Muir is America's most watched newscast. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. My California Closets experience has been wonderful. My mother's a huge inspiration. Before she passed away, she would say, you should do something special for yourself. First time I saw my closet, I immediately thought, this is the best thing I've ever done for myself. I call it my Tiffany style closet. I mean, I can shop in my own closet every day. I love that. My name is Cynthia, and this is my California Closet story. Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru vehicles hold their value better than any other brand for 2018, according to ALG. And Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand for four years running. The Subaru Impreza is an IIHS top safety pick for 11 years running. Lease a new Subaru Impreza today for just $155 a month. Or get 0% financing with zero down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Want to know a secret? If you're looking for the best selection of area rugs at an unbelievable price, the only place you need to look is Rugs is Art. I know what you're thinking. Expensive, right? Wrong. Rugs is Art has the largest selection of area rugs on the west coast of Florida in a variety of styles with 8x11 area rugs starting at $199. Largest selection, personalized service, and unbelievably low prices. You'll find it all at Rugs is Art. Rugs as Art, Sarasota's only area rug superstore. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Well, it's the biggest single night fundraiser of the year right here on the Sun Coast. Dick Vitale's gala is expected to raise up to three and a half million dollars for pediatric cancer research. Yeah, some of the biggest stars in sports and sports broadcasting are here tonight. ABC 7's Ray Collins joins us now live from the Ritz-Carlton with a special guest. 
and hello from the Ritz-Carlton. Hard to hear here, so I apologize for the delay. We're uh, back here, and one of the honorees tonight is a, a recognizable face and name, Jim Harbaugh, the coach of the Michigan Wolverines. Jim, why was it so important for you to be at this event tonight? Just it's a great opportunity for service, to contribute, to get in the game. Uh, Dick Vitale gives everybody this opportunity uh, to fight pediatric cancer. And every family in the world has been affected by it, is going to be affected by it if we don't find a cure for this hideous disease. It's gotten to the point that Dick Vitale has a very active Rolodex. When he calls, you take those calls, right? Yeah, just because he's so genuine. Yeah. You know, he's so passionate about what he does, uh, and he cares so much. And then you meet the kids and the family, and uh, and as I said, we've been we've been touched by it. Uh, our Michigan football family, Lloyd Carr's grandson passed away. Mitch Albums' daughter Chica passed away from a terrible disease called DIPG. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now there is no cure, but that's what these kind of events. At least give a chance. Right, Coach, thank you for being here in Sarasota. Thank you. Enjoy your time. Coach Jim Harbaugh, one of the honorees at the Dick Vitale Gala. That's it from here. Highlights tonight at 11 o'clock. Now back to you in the studio. All right, Ray. Exciting night for, uh, mm. for all of the area that uh, all these people come here for Dick Vitale to raise that money for, uh, uh, as he said, a hideous disease mm. that claims far too many lives of, of young children. Right, and he said Dick Vitale is so genuine, too, and he yeah. is. He, uh, I've been to his house last year after the event. It was there last year as well at the Ritz-Carlton. and uh, Just to hear him get up there and speak, and he, and he is really so emotional. It's, mm -hmm. it's hard not to become a part of it and help yeah. out uh, to raise money and, and uh, hopefully get to a cure. Yeah. yeah, Kevin said it so well that this is what he's going to be yes. remembered for. Yes, very right true. Yeah. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We'll see you again at 11. Have a good night and a great weekend. I'm Stephen Jaffe. Uh, the law firm's name is Farmer Jaffe. One of the beautiful things about Julius is he's always smiling and it becomes infectious. The fact that Julius has a disability has absolutely nothing to do with the quality of work that he's done. Just a, a great person you want on your staff. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Want the latest weather and traffic conditions wherever you go? Introducing ABC 7's revolutionary new First Alert weather app. With our state-of-the-art new weather app, you get up-to-the-minute weather alerts, interactive radar maps, current conditions, 10-day forecasts, real-time traffic maps, and weather video from ABC 7, all at your fingertips. And it's free. Just search Suncoast WX in the App Store and download onto all your devices today. Sponsored by Mr. Sparky. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. You want a Maserati, but you need an SUV. Why not have both? Levante, the Maserati of SUVs. Experience it at Sunset Maserati Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. There's nothing like this, this trail in Alabama. It just goes from the northern part of the state to the southern part of the state. We see all kind of different terrains, great value, great fun. We've been coming for 18 years. We started off with a group of eight, grew to 12, and grew to 16. And we love it because where else can you get world-class golf courses with world-class accommodations? To be able to play these type of courses in this environment and the difficulty uh, keeps us coming back over and over and over again.